Matt, you were pretty much thumped in a lot of the hustle categories into the last three minutes of the game. Is there something to be said for a residual effect to the brutal loss that you guys had a couple of days ago? You know, I didn't think so. We gave them off Thursday. We went short on fr uh, Friday. And, um, you know, I, I was, you know, that's on me. I have to do a good job of getting my team ready to play, ready to compete. You knew Rutgers was going to play. You know how they've been playing other than Iowa. They've been competing very hard, very well. Uh, read a lot of his quotes, and you know, they were going to play tough in physical basketball. Um, we, we definitely didn't have the juice. We definitely didn't have the energy that, need, that you need to compete on a 40 minutes in the Big Ten. You can't show up the last three minutes and finally play with some energy and juice. Um, Got to do a better job. Got to do a better job. You can't rely, you know, you can't think about the past. It's like a, a reliever. You give up a home run, you know what? Next play, next game, next day, next practice. It's what's got to be. And, and we didn't have that today. And that's when your leaders need to step up. I need to step up as a head coach. Like, this is going to be a rock fight. This is going to be brutal, tough game. But you can't sulk and you can't feel sorry for yourself about what happened in Indiana. You have to move on. And we did not do a good job of that. And that falls on my shoulders. I got to help these leaders talk to the, the entire team of how to compete and how to get yourself back up two feet in the middle of the ring and, and fight. And we, we need that back desperately. Uh, we talked yesterday, thank you, about how close is this team to playing as hard as, as you want them to be. And you said you'd find out today. What did you find out? How close are they? I found out we're young and we, we, need, uh, we need better leadership right now. That's what I found out. Rebounding has not been a strong point the past four games. Some of that, admittedly, is some of the teams you're playing are very good rebounding teams, but you guys have always sort of, that's been one of the staples. I think it's minus 60 right now against the past four teams. What is that problem attributed to right now? You know, we're finding bodies, but we're not releasing and going to get the basketball. We got it. We, that's why I played Lamar with four. He was rebounding the ball. I needed to keep him in the game. When I started going smaller, we were getting crushed on the glass. So we can't watch the flight of the ball. We got to go find bodies. Then we got to pursue. It's a want. I watched Ross Travis do it for four years. I watched Brandon Taylor do it. It's a want. It's a desire. You want to be a great rebounder? Let's go. You know, we need that fight. We got to understand that when we win the rebounding battle, we're going to win, because that means we're getting out and we're getting easy ones. Give Rutgers credit. They played hard. Their half court defense is very, very good. We knew that going in, but we needed. We knew we needed stops and rebounds to go. And we just couldn't get the rebounds. How do you recover from losing Stevens uh, with seven minutes left in the game uh, from both a rebounding standpoint and an overall standpoint? I, I think Mike collected a few more rebounds after that, but uh, the ultimate thing is that we got that you got out rebounded. Yeah, uh, you don't recover, obviously. You know, and we're relying on a freshman. I think our, our older guys need to step up. They really do. They need to step up. They need to find bodies. They got to start rebounding at a much higher level because they're playing significant minutes. They're playing a lot of minutes, and they got to step up. We got to rebound. It's got to be a collective effort. It's not one or two guys. It's the entire team. What, what was your take on just the defensive effort in general? It seemed like they hit some some fairly tough shots. They did. You, you know, um, give give them credit again. Pikes had them ready to go, and Corey Sanders. That was the best game I've seen him play all year, for sure. And then we tried to trap them. We tried to blitz them. Um, we, we tried to throw everything in the kitchen sink at them. And he still he hit a floater. He hit a three. We had somebody fall down. I mean, um, you know, th they played harder. They played harder. And when you play harder, good things happen. What did they do defensively in the first half? The, the stats have you for no points in the paint, which is kind of odd for you guys. You usually, yeah. even your guards usually get in there. What yeah. are they doing? Now they loaded up, but I didn't think we had that juice. We didn't have that energy. We didn't have that burst. We didn't have that that giddy up. You know, I, I, again, I didn't. I, I felt like we had a good day yesterday, really positive, upbeat, ready to start swinging again. And I, I watched them t throw the ball up, and I'm like, we're in trouble. I could see the body language. I could see the energy. I could, and, I, again, that's not on them. i got to help them. i got to help them through this process of learning how to battle through fatigue, mentally and physically, in the Big Ten. And, and that's what happens in February. you got to be able to punch through, and we haven't punched through yet. All right, thank you. Thanks.